Hey guys, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. Let's go off to this clearing now, let's see what's up here. Should have really did this in the last episode, but was a little short on time, so wasn't able to fit it in. Hero? What's going on up there? I, I hear music. No, you're just hearing things, you're just doing crazy. You've been hanging around Lucia too much. Oh, it is music. Oh. Okay, never mind. Well. It sounds cool. It's a nice, lively beat to it. Rockbar's like, I'd hit that. Wow, she's pretty freaking good. Blue, she's like, lol, what? <laughs> well, thanks. Say, I haven't seen you here before. Are you visiting? Well, my name is Jean. I'm the star dancer. I bet you are. Oh wait, she actually is. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, you could. We were kind of visiting, kind of, sort of. Oh, a troop of performers travel from town to town and perform spectacular shows. Mm, that does sound like fun. Oh, these people aren't my friends. They're just moochers. They're just trying to tag along for the ride. Nah, no, just kidding. They are our friends. And of course the woods are blocked up ahead. Of course. Well, first up, before we talk to Gaiben, uh, he's a guy right next uh, 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 next to Gene over there. Let's um go over here first. Yeah, definitely want to heal up because we haven't really been able to. And ooh, what's back here? Bouncy youths. What? Oh, okay. Just come back tomorrow. That's just wrong in so many levels, but... Whatever, okay. <laughs> anyway, let's go over here and grab this chest for a life jewel. This is the first one of these we've done in the game. You know, it restores plenty of HP to everybody. It restores up 200 HP to the entire party. And actually, what I used to do with those, I actually used to save them and use them a lot. But really, you don't really need them. I, mean, I like to try and keep a few of them around, but you can actually sell them for some money. Actually, quite a bit, actually. I think these sell for 3,500 silver, so that's a pretty good deal. Tangle vines blocking the path to the plains. Well, Ru can Ruby just burn them down with her fire breath, which supposedly, uh, supposedly she naturally has, which we actually haven't seen yet. First time I've heard that saying before, helping hands are far better than flapping lips. Whatever. You don't mean to be rude. Yeah, you do. Of course you do. And of course we don't, we don't need to follow her. Why not? I mean, RPGs don't have restraining orders or anything. So, what's stopping us? Nothing, that's what. Let's see, then. Before we talk to Jean, there's actually one more chest down here. If you can see, right here. Passion fruit that uh, restores HP to max. So definitely save that for a very nice, for not nice, but desperate situation. Oh, it's a nice view out here too. Well, let's talk to Gene now. Ooh, wild roses. That sounds pretty. Yeah, we just want to like invade your personal life and your personal space and all that. Alright, yeah, for right now, you gotta ask all three of these questions, so... Yeah, what is a caravan? Moving festivals, spreading joy around the world. I don't think... Do they have those things nowadays? Those traveling fairs and stuff like this? I don't know if they did back then, um... You know, just not sure. Anyway. Well, I only joined a few years ago. Interesting. Oh, she's definitely pretty freaking good. And, yeah, what song was that? Yeah, I've definitely never heard it before. Aw, oh, how romantic. I'll be your bestest friend in the whole world. 
Lovely, you're talking like you're three years old. Oh yeah, we're kind of like running away from the law. Yeah. We've been doing that pretty much all game, really. So. Uh, she seems troubled by this. Oh, need I talk to her again. Well, that's a load of crap. I do like the uh, cricket cr cr chirping effect in the background. That's a it's a nice touch to this. And yeah, everyone gives their little morality speeches and whatever as to why they're still here with Hero. Aw, oh, how nice. Look out look out for what? As of right now, there's nothing on the screen. See? As soon as they press X, oh what the hell is that? Lucia um that that looks kinky. Whoa, holy crap! When the hell did she learn karate? Alright, well, that was pretty freaking cool. And yeah, she said she doesn't like fighting, and she just did that right there. Uh, what's the matter? Something tells me, yeah, I was gonna say, something tells me she wants to keep this a secret. Yeah, you'd think you want us to tell people about, yeah, about that. Hmm. Well. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, at least Lucia's okay. But yeah, Jean seems a little troubled at this. I wonder why. And there's actually a little comparison I want to make between this game, the PS1 version of this game, and the Sega version, but let's wait until after this uh, little scene right here. Just Yeah. Don't want to really spoil too much of anything, but yeah, this is wait until after the scene is over. And, whoa, what's going on here? Looks like there's a little flashback right here. And it calls it the Shadow Dragon. That sounds cool and evil. Hmm. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah comparison I wanted to make, yeah, this part right here, in the Sega version, the game actually never e even really talks about this part. And they actually yeah, they never go into Gene's past at all. And since you know, PlayStation 1 had more uh, capacity, like for memory and all that stuff, they actually were able to go deeper into the story. And actually, I'll be making more comparisons about the, actually this area in particular in a, uh, in a little bit. Yeah, actually, yeah, there's a quite a few comparisons between this game and the Sega version that actually I'll be making quite a bit throughout this LP, actually. And anyway, oh, just got back from Athena Spring. Yeah, we were just there last night, don't you remember? Guess not. Yeah, like our hero's face is turning red right now. Alrighty. Oh, we got some items around here too, if you need them. Um, yeah, pretty much standard stuff here. What the, what the hell is this thingy? Can we, like, do anything to it? That sounds vulgar. <laughs> oh, this is a magic arrow, destined to be the most popular attraction in the history of the carnival. Ooh. Oh, can't you just, like, make return trips? I just, I just do kind of need that thing. Oh, well. Yeah, no one else around here really says much of anything. Let's go off to the spring now. Yay, happy music. Yeah, this guy finally moved out of the way. It's naughty and forbidden. Well, at least this game has moral standings and all that. Oh, we can? Oh, it looks like there's a... Almost looks like there could be a door back here. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, guys to the left, ladies to the right. Um, Ruby, that... Never mind. Yeah, 
Yeah, Lucia seems a little confused at this. <coughs> actually, that probably would feel really, really nice if you think about it. Well, let's say we'll have to stop the episode here, but what's Ruby wondering about? Wonder why the huh? Had to find out next time on Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. This has been IR Movie signing off. Guys, have a nice day, and thanks for watching.